beautiful humans. My name is Lindsay Whitfield and this week, this video was actually requested by one of you guys, by Nadia, who's in Dubai and I stand by, that being the coolest thing that anyone has ever said to me, that they are so far away from where I live and they watch my videos and I am touched. So Nadia, thank you so, so much. She asked if I would film a how I pack my base in flight case. Y'all, for such a tiny little bag, I, have, I normally fit so much crap in here that it is unreal. It, this is heavy. <laughs> oh my God, I overdid it. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this. There's a ton of stuff in here. Let's get started. So let's start with what this is. This is the base in-flight case on the front of it. It says, we're here. And then if you flip it, it says, let's go, which I think is really, really cute. And this is in their cream patent shade. And this has got two different compartments. One, two. One compartment comes with a mirror. And I have packed this as if I were going on a long haul flight. So there's a lot of stuff in here, more than I would normally pack. So if I were going across the country, like Meg, if I were coming to see you um, in California or to the Caribbean or something that is longer than just like Greenville where I live to DC or Atlanta or Charlotte or any of those things. Also, disclaimer, I have packed this as if I am leaving from Greenville. That is important information and I'll tell you why. The GSP airport is fantastic for travelers. It's very traveler friendly because it is small. When you travel with GSP, my mother does not even put her liquids in a clear bag and gets away with it at GSP. So <laughs> there's that. If I am flying like into or out of an airport that I'm not familiar with or that I know um, because of research is a little more strict, I would pack less than this. But Otherwise, I'm gonna pack this much because I am a hoarder. All right, let's get started. So I don't have this broken down into what I need when I'm leaving versus what I need when I get there because it fits more when you don't. If you are flying a shorter flight and you don't necessarily need as much, absolutely organize it that way if that is what suits your life. But my inner Virgo is at war with my inner pack rat and my pack rat one. Okay, we're gonna start with what I have in the let's go side and I'll tell you guys what all I have in here. Oh God, it's full. The first thing that I have on here is a thank you card. I always carry a thank you card when I travel. If I'm staying in a hotel, especially if I'm staying with a friend, I like to have one of these so that I can actually just leave a little note to say thank you for taking care of me. Like, I think that's just a nice little touch. You can carry a couple of these if you're gonna be on a really long flight. I think it's nice to give to your air steward or air stewardess. It's just a nice touch and it's always a good thing to be polite. So I always carry a thank you card. The next thing that I have right on top is a backup iPhone charger. This one is like my most manky and mangled iPhone charger, but I leave it in this case, no matter what, it lives here. Because I carry this with me every time I travel. I still pack an iPhone charger, but in the event that I accidentally forget, I have one. Okay, the next thing I have is this. This is just a pair of Apple headphones. It just like plugs in to where your charger plugs in. So this does plug into my phone um, in case I need it, in case my AirPods die. So I take these as a backup. Cotton balls. I got these from a hospitality kit at a hotel and I kept them because I hate having piles of things that are just kind of loose. So also, Lindsay does ASMR part 47. But these are just great. I have, you'll see it in a minute, but I do have my slur water in my other side of this. So these are used for that um, if you need it. Do you know what this is? This is a bra strap converter. If you have like a tank top on and your bra straps are normal, but your tank top's a racerback, I always leave this in here. It lives with the charger. <laughs> because I have needed one of these before and didn't have it when I traveled. So I live, I let it live here. It's a very random assortment of things, but I need all of it. Do I really need to explain this? Probably not. I hate having bad breath. I always have gum, toothpaste, something, one of the above. Um, so I have two flavors of gum. My magic pill bottle, AKA Advil, Aleve, and 
tums are in here because you never know what you're gonna need. I take two kinds, three kinds of lip balm. Oh, all right, I'm a little extra. I have this one, this came in an owl crate and it smells like apples and I really like it. I also have my Maria Badescu uh, lip balm. This is my favorite lip balm. I have a bottle in my purse, a bottle in my bedside table, a bottle at my desk at work, and a bottle in my in-flight case. I never go anywhere without it. And then I have the Lucas's Pop Out Ointment. Now, this is kind of multi-purpose. So, airplane air is dry. Shocker! Everyone knows this. But it can do, like, miserable things to your skin. So I use this on my lips, on my elbows, anywhere that I'm getting really, really dry, this is my go-to. So um, it also says, that you can use this, <clears throat> a local topical application for minor burns and scalds. I think this is a British company. Um, sunburn, gravel rash, cuts, and minor open wounds, insect bites, splinters, and nappy rash. Confirmed British company. Um, so, oh, Australian, I was close. So <laughs> um, yeah, I take this, especially if I've got sunburn or something, this is always a good thing to have. Um, I like to smell good. <laughs> this is a sample of the Atelier Cologne in um, Orange Sanguine. Everyone knows this, but it can do like miserable things to your skin. So I use this on my lips, on my elbows, anywhere that I'm getting really, really dry, this is my go-to. It also says that you can use this <clears throat> A local topical application for minor burns and scalds. I think this is a British company. Sunburn, gravel rash, cuts, and minor open wounds, insect bites, splinters, and nappy rash. Confirmed British company. So, oh, Australian, I was close. So um, yeah, I take this, especially if I've got sunburn or something, this is always a good thing to have. I like to smell good. <laughs> This is a sample of the Atelier Cologne in um, Orange Sanguine. It kind of smells like vacation, so it lives in there. And then I have my travel atomizer of my Chanel number no. five below. It goes everywhere. We're still not done, there's still a ton of stuff in here. I have this. I had a jade roller that broke and it only has the small side on there. And this is just great to kind of help with drainage. I'm like massaging my face while I talk to you guys. But this is just nice. And I use this in conjunction with like sheet masks and just to kind of help skin in general. It was great, it broke. The big side broke, so this one lives in there. Okay. More medicines. These are chloroseptic in case you have a sore throat. When I went to DC, if you've seen that video, I got so sick. I was miserable. So I now have these in my implant case and then Pepto-Bismol tablets just in case I get an upset stomach because I do get travel sick. A tampon, because you never know. Pens, because why not? I'm still not done. <laughs> There's so much. On a day-to-day -day basis, I have dry eyes. It's just a thing, it kind of sucks, it's whatever. So I now always have this with me. This is just some eye drops. This is the blink, safe for contacts, depending on if I'm wearing my glasses or if I'm wearing my contacts, I wanna make sure that I have something that is contact safe. So I always carry one of these. I have these little foam earplugs just in case I really am like over it. My AirPods are dead. I don't feel like digging those out even though they're in the same compartment. That's a bad example. Or if I just want some quiet, I will use these. These are the little foam earplugs. I'm gonna talk about both of these at the same time. I carry Dramamine and motion sickness patches. These I just got on Amazon. I get horrible travel sickness. Any of my best friends are literally watching this video going, mm -hmm. Yep, that happens. So I take a Dramamine and a travel sickness patch. I also, to anyone if you are watching this video and you get travel sickness, listen to me. If you listen to nothing else in this video, hear me out, sister friend. Go to your doctor, tell them you get travel sickness. Ask for the prescription strength travel sickness patches. It will change your life. When we went to Texas to see Ashley, I didn't get sick once. That's a big deal for me, okay? Like normally if I get travel sick, it, I basically have to get to the hotel or wherever I'm staying 
and kind of like have a cold washcloth in a dark, cold room and kind of settle. And it takes a while. And sometimes it can ruin my entire day depending on when I get there. And that's if I'm not actually physically sick. If I'm just like, you know, a little But if I'm actually physically getting sick, my whole day is done. So go to the doctor and get travel sickness prescription patches. It will change your life. They are amazing. I have nothing bad to say about them. What's next? We're coming close to the end of this, you guys. Of this side. Clorox to go wipes. Planes are a disgusting place. If you don't believe me, ask any flight attendant. They will tell you. Planes are gross. So I carry a Clorox wipe. And I always make sure this has like four or five still in here. Don't be a jerk. If you carry these, offer one to the person sitting next to you. Don't be rude. When I use these, I always like anyone on my room, like, would you like one? And I just think that's common courtesy because planes are gross. <laughs> and you also don't want to be that jerk that's like, rub it down your thing. And then you like look at the person beside you and you're like, there's this nasty. <laughs> like, don't do that. So share, sharing is caring friends. Speaking of wipes, um, I don't actually carry these, but I couldn't, the one that I have that I normally carry, I normally carry the Neutrogena wipes. These are good in a pinch, uh, but I normally carry a Neutrogena wipe. You can either get the travel size pack that you can just kind of leave in there. They now have them as individual wipes. Now, I am a big fan of Caroline Hirons, and if you don't know who that is, look her up immediately. In fact, I will put her link in the description for you because the woman is a genius and I don't use that term like Apple uses it for their genius bar. Like she is so smart and knows so much about skincare and she will tell you these are not cleaning your face. I hate to tell you, but they're not. They will kind of get off surface things. But they can actually do more damage to your pores. They're pushing things in your pores. It's not great. The only time I ever recommend using these is for travel and festivals, but that's a different story. Take them and really it can just be like, it's used like kind of a wet washcloth or um, a wet flannel if you're from the UK, really just to kind of wipe off your skin. These are not going to clean your skin. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Okay, they're in there though, just in case. The rest of this stuff is all skincare related, so we're gonna kind of fly through it. The next thing I have is these. Now, when you are going on a trip or you know that you're gonna travel in the next whatever, or you're just buying things from Sephora, I always buy online because you get samples and you get to pick your samples. Girl. Okay, so this is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer and the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. These are so incredibly hydrating and I absolutely love them. So I have these in here just in case. I do have a ton of liquid products. We'll do that part next. There's four more things. So we've talked about the dry air on an airplane. Yeah, okay. Um, I always have masks, okay? The first one is just a little sheet mask. This is from Misha. Um, I, got, I get my essence from them and they had these as like a sample, so I got a couple. Or these were on sale, something, I don't know. This is just an aloe vera, really hydrating, really great. I will put this on my skin, get my little jade roller, roll everything out. And if you don't believe me that the air is dry on an airplane, put on a sheet mask at home, get two, put on a sheet mask at home, time how long it takes for the thing to dry out. Then wear the same sheet mask on an airplane and compare the time. That will tell you how much drier the air is. It generally takes, this would take a couple of hours on me to fully drive out because I have combination oily skin. On an airplane, 30 minutes, just saying. Now, I also use this. This came in a boxy charm for me. This is a KNC Beauty lip mask if my lips are getting super dry. And then I have the Wander Beauty eye patches. These are just cool to wear on planes. I mean, they're really great, really hydrating. They also heat up on your skin so that actually like helps everything to penetrate a little bit more. It's great, they're wonderful. Two more things on this side and then I'm gonna repack this side. These. Mighty Patches. They're hard to see because I actually have an open pack of these. Mighty Patches. 
I get breakouts. I mean, I have a perioral dermatitis breakout right now, but you can't put my knee patches on this. You have to get a prescription. If you have a breakout and you can feel it coming, put this on. Just put it on. No one's gonna see it. No one's gonna care. Wear them. Then the last product I have is another sample. This is a great mask. I didn't get why everyone was so obsessed with this mask, and now I do. Because you don't have to wash this off. This is a mask that can double as a moisturizer. And this is from Summer Fridays. This is the jet lag mask. So you can use a warm towel and wipe it off if you would like, but you don't have to. This is gonna provide really good hydration for your skin. And this is just fabulous. So I have a little sample. I had a couple of these. I will buy the full size when I run out. Let's repack. Packing montage. Boom, that was impressive. We're only halfway done. Now it's time for this side. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay, no, I am gonna have to fight with it. Got it. Oh no! Look, it, part of the logo came off. Shay Mitchell, what the hell? Um, the first thing that I have, I don't pack. This is just the little base mirror. It goes in here. It literally lives in here all the time. Remember how I said that I packed this as if I were leaving for GSP? This side is where that information comes in. Um, the other side, doesn't matter. This side has my liquids and there's a bunch. Whoopsie. So if you're flying out of a strict airport, you can get a couple of ideas from this, but don't push it or have an extra Ziploc bag ready with you just in case you need to put them in a clear, a fully clear container. The first thing that I have is an eye mask. I love this one. It's cute and silky, and it reminds me of Audrey Hepburn. So I have this one. I also have a molded one that lives in my backpack, so I always have two. So I'm gonna show you guys the non-liquid things first, and then we'll get into the liquid things that I take. A scrunchie! I always just have a hair tie with me, and scrunchies are good for your hair, and they're trendy now, so a scrunchie. Kleenex. After my DC trip, I will never travel without Kleenex again. These are like $5 in the airport, so buy them before you leave, but I always will have these with me now because I was so sick in DC, so I will always carry these. This is a Tide To Go Mini. I got this at CVS. Um, you can also get these at like Walmart, Target, whatever you want, but I am a messy human and I drop things on myself. I don't go anywhere without these and it's tiny. That's all the non-liquids that I have. Next thing I carry is this. I have allergies, always have. I carry Nate's Court, I use this every day, just because with the dry air, it can cause swelling in your sinuses and in your nose, and this is always good to have. This is doctor prescribed, so if they wanted to fight me on this, I'd be like, I need this or I'll die. Exaggeration, party of one. I'm gonna talk about the next things kind of in the order that I would use them, ish. Okay, so after I have wiped everything down with Clorox, I wanna sanitize my hands. I always carry one of these. I just have a Bath and Body Works one with me. I actually try to carry ones that are unscented because I am sensitive to smell, but just in case I have a Bath and Body Works one, this is Raspberry Lemon Sorbet. Delicious. So I sanitize my hands and then I feel like my hands get really dry really quickly. So I have this, this is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream and the Bath and Body Works Paraffin Hand Cream. So I will use this on my arms. Uh, I try to travel either in like a hoodie that's comfortable. Most of the time I'm in a short sleeve shirt. So I use this on my arms and on my knees if they get really dry, go to. And then this on my hands, I'll tell you the truth. This is the paraffin hand cream. And under normal circumstances, it's not my favorite because it can be a little oily and that's just not my jam. But on an airplane, I find that I actually really love this because it is so hydrating. Two kinds of moisturizer for just not my face. Not including the like 17 masks that are in the other side. I like to be hydrated. So if I am wearing makeup on a plane, it's probably a God-given miracle. But the first thing that I would do otherwise, like I'd probably use one of those wipes just to get off surface level. And then I'm gonna use this. This is just a micellar water. This is from Pure Effect, it's a coconut micellar water. When this is empty, I'm gonna refill it with Bioderma just because I like the size of this bottle. But I take micellar water, the, what are they called? Cotton balls that are on the other side and I will just cleanse my face. And I will use probably that entire pack of cotton balls to cleanse my face because one pass is just not gonna do it. 
It's just not. I stretch the cotton balls out and try to get the most mileage out of them that I can, but one pass does not do it. So I will use this with a cotton ball or several cotton balls to make sure that I get my skin as clean as I can. After cleansing, the next thing I kind of want to do is I'm going to use that serum from the other side just as extra defense. And then I'm gonna wanna hydrate. And then I'll follow up with this. This is the Black Tea Age Delay Face Cream from Fresh. This is just lovely. Also, it smells so good. I got this as a sample. Pick your samples smartly. If they have little tubs like this, get them. Because when this is empty, I will use this for other things. I'll relabel it and I will use this to carry other things with me on a plane because it's so tiny. Then I wanna treat my eyes and I have this little booger. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Eye Serum. I normally carry an eye cream, but I actually really love this. The Moisture Surge Moisturizer is great for planes. And this is amazing. This will keep you hydrated, it's really lovely, and it stays. So I use this after that. And then the best thing in the world that you can do is follow up with an oil. Now, this is just a little bottle that I had. Um, actually, I got this from my friend Kelly. So this is just a little blue glass bottle that I have. This is a mixture of jojoba and rosehip oil that I did myself. I love both of those oils. They're very hydrating and oils kind of act as a sealant. Think of an oil kind of like a top coat for a nail polish. An oil is just gonna seal in all those really good ingredients and create a barrier between the germs and the dry air to keep your skin really hydrated. So oils are a great thing to take on a plane. And you don't have to carry something that's much bigger than this. Jojoba oil is really, really great. It's actually the closest oil that is to, like it's the closest oil to sebum, which is the natural oil that your skin produces. So jojoba oil, blah, 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 blah. So, jojoba oil is really great, and rosehip is just really, really hydrating. So I mix the two, and in it goes. Not really, because I have to repack all this in a minute. Now, this is just a little bonus. Emily gave me this. This is just an Evian facial spray. I use this, like I'm gonna use it now, <laughs> truthfully. I either carry this or rose water. Most of the time I carry rose water, but I have this and I really like it. So I wanted to carry this one with me for a little while and see kind of how it performs comparatively. It's just great. It's basically water in a can. I'm not gonna lie to you, but when you start to feel gross or after you've used your micellar water and you just want a little more refreshment, yeah. And it makes you feel bougie. Like, you're just like, oh, Evian. Just me? Okay, I'll go. <laughs> and just to seal in moisture on my hands when I'm done, and I don't do this before because I don't want to get this in my skincare. Does that make sense? Oh, also on a plane, touch your face as little as humanly possible. There's germs everywhere, just don't touch your face. I have this, this is a secret uh, cuticle oil. It's only an ounce um, and it's great to put on your hands after you've done your skincare, just to really hydrate those cuticles so that you don't get nails, all that crap. We're in the last little bit. I've only got four products left, I swear. And we'll repack it and we'll, final thoughts. The whole thing will be done. But I have a couple more products. So if I'm like getting to a place and I wanna look like a human, that's pretty rare for me. Full disclosure, this is normally what people get. But if I wanna look like a human, I have a couple of products that I carry. The first thing I will do if I'm getting to somewhere is use that micellar water again or a wipe again and that Evian spray and just kind of cleanse my face a little bit. Then I will use this. This is the Ever Daylight Radiance Moisturizer with SPF. Um, my friend Sarah gave me this to try. I really, really, really like it. It's phenomenal. It protects your skin from the sun and it doesn't give you a weird cast, I should say. You know what I mean? Like when sunscreen can make you look a little ashy. Um, it does not do that. So I really like this and it's tiny, so it goes in. Then I only carry three makeup products with me on flights. That is not true. There are four. I've only got four products left, I swear. I swear. Yeah, there were four. That's my bad. Okay, can't count. I'm sorry. Now we have four products left. I suck. Thank you for listening. So I carry four makeup products. That's it. The first thing I will use is this. This is the Wander Beauty Dualist Matte and Illuminating Concealer. One side for spots. One side is a standard doe foot concealer for under your eyes. I blend this in with my finger after I've used hand sanitizer. Let me repeat. I blend this in with my finger after 
under hand sanitizer, okay? Don't put bacteria near your eyeballs. Um, okay, so when that is done, I use this. Victoria gave me this. There's a lot of like gifted slash my friends gave me stuff to try products. <laughs> this is from Thrive Cosmetics, this is the eye brightener. I love this. I've used this in videos before, you guys have seen it. It's just a little eye brightener pen. Um, you can use it as a highlighter, you can use it as a shadow, under your brows, Cupid's bow, tip of the nose, a little bit on your cheeks, blend with the finger, again after you've used hand sanitizer. Or just don't touch anything but your makeup and then you can do it right after your concealer. But this is great and it makes me look awake. I'll also do it kind of under my eyes, just. This makes me look like I got eight hours of sleep when I only got four. This. You guys have seen me use this. I've talked about this. I am a big fan of brow gels. So this is the ColourPop brow gel. I like this better than the Boy Brow from Glossier. It's cheaper and it's just as good. And anything cheaper just as good means it gets my vote. So I used this today, so I'm not gonna put some on now, but this is phenomenal and it's tiny, so it goes in and always goes with me. If I have forgotten my makeup bag and I only have these products, I can stop somewhere and buy a lipstick or I have lipstick in my purse and I can function. Last one. Took seven years to get here. The last one is this. This is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. It is dark, it pays off well, it gives you really long lashes and it's really cute so I like to pack it with me. And that is all that goes on this side. Now we're gonna see if we can get it all back in. did it. We did it. Uh, it's always an actual effort to get everything back in here, but I am prepped. I can literally use this in my phone and be set for a flight. So yeah, that is it. There you go. Nadia, did this answer your questions? I hope so, because if it didn't, I don't know what I forgot. Okay. Yay. That is it for this week's video. This is very heavy and I'm tired of playing with it. So. If you enjoyed it, and I hope that you did, please make sure before you leave, you hit the YouTube trifecta. That's like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week with another video. I love y'all, mean it. Bye.